Yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian from mindfulmarketplace.com. And uh, in today's really quick, uh, sort of extemporaneous first blush entrepreneurial intuition about this new platform called Circle.so, I had some people uh, asking me for my thoughts over the last couple of days. I didn't really know about Circle. Circle is a, um, it's a community building platform. Uh, you know, software as a service, I would say it's an analog to something like uh, Mighty Networks or Tribe, or even more loosely uh, in the WordPress ecosystem, Buddy uh, Buddy Press, or more specifically Buddy Boss, which I know many, or at least some folks uh, in my audience use and love. So um, I signed up for this on Monday, today's the 13th, I believe, of August, Wednesday. Uh, 2020, uh, just to kind of, you know, get a grok or feel for uh, my thoughts uh, about Circle. And I really love it. I mean, it's very, very uh, intuitive. It's quite beautiful, as you can see from their landing page. Uh, I'll show you the Circle that I set up. I think I will anyway. It's somewhere. Uh, nope, that's not it. And that's not it either. And it's certainly not this, so let's see if I can go to it's here. All right, so I just set this up to test over the last couple of days uh, for our community, and I'm excited about this. I mean, I have a lot of experience with Mighty Networks and certainly Buddy, uh, Buddy Press and Buddy Boss. This is you know, again, I would say it's most analogous to a Mighty Networks, especially once they roll out the app for Circle, which I understand is coming uh, at some point in the not too distant future. Um, it just has a lot of utility for a content course slash coach oriented or coaching oriented community. So if you are teaching classes and you are looking for a way of augmenting, optimizing, and improving your student experience by dint of offering them the sort of interactivity that most, um, you know, LMS software services don't incorporate. So something like uh, Podia, which we use for uh, our partners.mindfulmarketplace uh, subdomain. We have a lot of courses on here. Uh, I have a pretty robust um, membership area as well, which is here. And one of the, as much as I love Podia and I do love Podia, this is not certainly anything disparaging about Podia, but one of the really difficult pieces for me is the lack of interactivity with my community. So it's a very one directional, the conversation is always flowing from me to you or from me to the folks who are actually subscribed or students of these different courses and or memberships. So here, as you can see, I'm writing stuff, I'm sharing content. And the most that I can really expect from my audience is that they will like something or comment, right? Which doesn't happen all that often. I get likes and some comments, but it's really kind of uh, rare and uh, unusual for folks to actually leave comments. There's one there, but in general, it's pretty uh, unusual. And the reason is that the you know there's there's no personalization uh, possible. So the person who leaves a comment doesn't have a profile. They don't have links to their uh, you know work in the world. There's no real kind of you know like familiarity or with other folks who they are what they look like what they're working on etc and something like circle right away gives you that sort of that's really not me that's just a <laughs> a dummy picture of me but um you know for folks who wanted to interact with other people on the platform you can give people the ability to customize their profiles again this is just the thing i set up to test let's see if i can find the settings to change my profile it's probably here and i think everyone pretty much has this sort of um you know customization available actually that's not coming up i'm not sure why 
I'm just basically figuring out where everything goes uh, here. Let's look at a more uh, robust example rather than the one that I just, um, you know, screwing around with today, right? So here is a community.makerpad. Uh, Makerpad is a really popular uh, entrepreneurial, uh, no code sort of community. I'm not a member here, but, you know, I, I, I've been watching some of what their founder, leader, uh, you know, main guy has been doing for some, you know, for some many months. And this is a good example of what you can build using a circle. I assume, yeah, clearly that this has been in process for a while. So uh, Ben or MakerPad or, you know, this platform had access to the private beta. And you can see just, I mean, it, this has a very buddy press, buddy boss kind of look and feel. The aesthetic exact, is actually somewhat similar as well. Um, but I, I think this is a better option because it requires less of you as the platform proprietor, as the site owner. There's no customizations. Let me restate that. There are no plugins to fuck with. There are no tools and tech and updates and all this other stuff that a software as a service, as a value proposition, removes that heavy lifting from your experience. And while all of us think that, you know, lots of customizations and color changes and, you know, design tweaks and optimizations and, you know, that stuff ultimately matters the least in terms of building something that has value, that is enduring, and that is transformative for your own brand, your own business, your own content, your own community, and, you know, your own cash flow, which is what we're all here on some level, or at least somewhat what we should be interested in doing. A lot of people are, you know, spending all of their time doing the, you know, designing these sites without ever actually launching something that is meaningful or that matters. So, you know, again, I don't know this dude, I don't know, uh, you know, the maker pad people. All I know is that this is what a, a circle that's fleshed out a little bit with some interactivity, with some, um, you know, some thought and some uh, strategy behind it looks like, right? And um, yeah, I'm impressed. And again, where I'm really impressed and what I don't know that I completely fleshed out this thought is, so if you look at our courses here, right, this is our private uh, Pathright community where we teach courses. Um, you know, there's a multi-author course community. Pathright is a fucking awesome platform for teaching. It is a really, to me, the quintessential, uh, you know, LMS for larger organizations, right? It's not, it's not Gumroad. It's not Podia. It's not even Teachable. I think this is really a step above when it comes to creating courses that, you know, build a real community. All right. I said that poorly, but um, where I find it difficult even here is that people don't interact with the courses, even though they have tools, right? So let's see, I'll show, I'll show them to you. You have these community tools that give you the ability to, you know, to add interactivity, to add notes, to share notes, to add questions, where in principle, people should be able to interact and are interacting in a meaningful way. But I just find it doesn't happen. No matter how smart or strategic I think the questions that we're asking are, no one cares, right? But by definition, something like this just fac facilitates community. So what you could do and what I am actually planning on doing is taking these courses, right? So courses that would be Here, let's say, I don't know, pick any one of them. Let's say this one, which has 900 and some odd members, right? So instead of having this one directional E and me talking to you or the folks who are actually enrolled in this, I can incorporate this, a channel or what they call a space here, which I already set up today, right? Took me eight seconds and you know i can have everybody who's in that course 
right? Automatically enroll in this private space. And I can actually make this space separate from, let's say, um, you know, some of the other content and the other community that is, of, or other courses or other discussions, or in their parlance, other spaces that everyone sees by default when they come to uh, our circle, right? Um, and it's important to know that you can set up your own custom domain here. So clearly, I if you know if I flesh this out, I don't want this to live on a circle subdomain. This would be a you know a subdomain within our mindful marketplace community instead. Um, as a matter of fact, I'll give you one other sort of extra piece of information that I probably don't even need to share. But I've already decided that we're going to remove that we're moving our ghost installation, which is currently on the community.mindfulmarketplace.com uh, subdomain. And I'm actually going to use that. Why is this loading so slowly? That's not good. Um, I'm going to use this for our multi, uh, you know, author multi uh, channel community. Because again, even Ghost, which is not, which I love, and it's a great publishing platform, doesn't have really these smooth tools for natively incorporating the sort of community that this, as you can see here, has, right? Something like Circle running or something like MakerPad running on circle okie doke so i'm excited about this you know i don't really know at all the answers yet i certainly haven't figured out how everything works or where everything appears and what spaces and places and how to navigate and you know operate all of this just yet but i'm excited to learn i'm certainly going to be uh you know adding lots of content over the next week or two to our circle and i expect this will be a significant piece of our platform going forward um i would encourage you if you're interested to check out circle.so uh, there's a 14-day free trial that you can access and you know give it a run and and see how it uh feels for your brand for your project for your platform for your business and especially if you are teaching courses i think you're going to find this is going to open up an avalanche of ideas of how you can extend and improve and really serve and scale your, uh, you know, your course community, especially if you're doing uh, stuff like us. Okay. So I hope that's been helpful. If you have questions, feel free to ask. And um, again, you know, visit circle.so to try this for yourself. Thanks so much and have a great day.